Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another foundation first impression and today it's all about the new Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I am so excited to try this because this used to be my jam back in the day. I used to love this foundation. So just to catch you guys up, there was an older version of this. Makeup Forever just launched a new formula that they say is hopefully going to be better than the old one in that it's supposed to be more lightweight, more skin-like, because let me just tell you, that old one, I loved it, but it was that full coverage matte skin, and when I wore it, I felt done up, which at the time, I didn't mind. That's what I wanted. Since then, my foundation preferences have changed a little bit. I don't mind a more natural look, which is why I'm pumped to try this to see if it's actually going to be a little bit more natural while still giving me that flawless look that I remember the old one get me like let's just take this back like five six years ago I used to wear it to my old makeup job and I felt so good when I wore it so if you guys want to see how this is going to go down keep on watching click that subscribe button if you're new and if you've done that let's get into it so makeup forever sent me a package with three shades inside that they thought would suit me the best so fingers crossed i'm going to be able to find a color match in here they also sent along a foundation brush and the step one hydrating primer which is kind of cool for this video because i'm thinking i'm going to use the primer on one half of the face to see if it actually makes the foundation perform better. So here's a few facts about the foundation before we get started. It claims to be a breathable full coverage foundation with a lifelike matte finish that bends and breathes with skin for up to 24 hour wear. It also says that this creamy blendable texture balances the complexion for zero shine. It never cakes, flakes, or fades so skin appears natural and vibrant throughout the day. As for price, it retails in Canada for $48 $38 if you live in the US and it comes as your standard 30 mil foundation tube as for shades There are 40 different shades, which is amazing, but that's nothing new for makeup forever. They're honestly They've always served up a lot of shades and tones to choose from But congratulations for still being on top of that since they did send me three different shades I thought that I would swatch all three First of all, to help me out, because I don't know what shade is going to match me best. But hopefully for you, if you're watching this, you might be able to take something from this and match yourself if you have to order online, which I hate doing, but if you have to. I'm going to start with shade Y355. That looks to be the completely wrong tone for me, but as always, I'm going to let that dry down, because once it's completely dry, the color will change. Next up is Y363. This one is very yellow, which is usually what I look for in my foundation colors because that seems to be the ones that match me the best. So hopefully I might have something there. And the last one is Y365. Ooh, that one looks like it could be a good match too. I'm going to let these sit on the skin because they're all completely different uh, colors and tones. And then in like one to two minutes, we will look at it and see if I know which one I'm going to use. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So this hydrating primer says that it's supposed to be a universal formula for normal skin with occasional dryness. And it also says it's a makeup primer that assists with balancing the skin's texture and tone for smoother, more even, and longer lasting makeup wear. Just so you guys can check out the texture of it, you could see it's starting to run, which means it's a little bit more liquidy. And I'm just gonna apply it to this half of my face. It feels really light. I'm gonna make sure to do the forehead well because when I wear foundations that are a little bit too drying for me, this is the first place that it shows because it tends to separate the most on my forehead. And I will definitely apply some to the under eyes because this is another place that it shows the most dryness. It is scented. It smells pretty, but it does have a fragrance. Okay, well this one is definitely out because that doesn't suit me at all. It's almost going gray on my skin. So between these two, ooh, I think I should go with the yellow. To be honest, I think I'm like a mix of the two. So if I have to, I will blend. Even though I don't want to, but if I have to for the video, I will. Okay, hair is a little bit more tamed. It is so hot right now. Gonna add a little bit of the moisturizer back onto this area where I didn't get before. Check out that consistency. Completely different than the primer. It looks thicker 
it's not running at all. Got my foundation brush, which by the way, I just wanted to include that I did wash this before I'm gonna use it today, because I always try to wash my brushes when they're brand new to make sure that there's no like chemicals on them. I'm gonna start with the side with the primer first. And fingers crossed this shade matches me. Ooh, it applies so nicely. Look at how much coverage I'm getting already and how much surface I'm covering with just a little bit of product. Okay, that cut, well, it actually looks like it might be blending into the neck, definitely not up here. I'm also incredibly flush right now because it's so hot in here, but if you want to make it so that foundation blends and you don't see any lines, make sure to blend it up onto your ears. It applies really nicely with the brush, but I am getting some brush strokes in here, so I'm gonna quickly go grab my beauty blender because I washed it and it's in my kitchen. Hold up. Look at that coverage. I actually am gonna try to blend that out because that's more full coverage than I've been wearing lately. For summer, I've been going a little bit more au naturel. So to see my skin like this, it's different. This is already starting to dry down. Oh my gosh, this side-by-side -side comparison right now is crazy. Like this side looks flawless. And then over here you have so much redness discoloration you see a lot of shine and then over here the foundation just completely took down that shine you can still see my skin underneath like the freckles are still there I'm gonna do the other side of the face now I'm gonna turn my fan on though because I'm getting so overheated in here and then once I'm done I will have a full face of the foundation <laughs> One thing I just wanted to point out is that I did have to work pretty quickly uh, because it starts to dry down pretty quickly. So you gotta move fast with this. I'm just gonna apply some under eye concealer. To set the under eyes, I'm gonna use a very light dusting of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Medium Plus. Now, even though I'm pretty matte, I'm still gonna go ahead and set the face with a little bit of powder, just because every time that I haven't used powder when I'm doing a foundation review, I regret it later, because I would always use a little bit of powder, even if something's a little bit matte, because right now in my T-zone, you can see some shine that will only continue to get worse throughout the day. And I wanna make sure I don't jack this video up. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my Laura Mercier Translucent setting powder on this part of my cheeks and around my nose because I always crease around the nose and it is doing here's the shot I am doing a little bit of creasing right there you can see so I'm gonna tap that back in and set it and forget it okay I feel pretty good about that let's give you guys a time check it is 10.05 in the morning. I have to do a little bit of makeup today. Normally with foundation reviews, I've been trying to wear less so that you can actually see how the skin's gonna look. But I have an event to go to later on tonight, so I gotta dull up a little bit. So I'm gonna go and do up the rest of my face, and I will be right back. As I was finishing up the rest of my makeup, I became very aware of that perfume scent that I was telling you about earlier. So at first I thought it was the primer, but I was like, that smells way too strong to be the primer. So what I did was I went and I washed my hands, I put the primer on this hand, the foundation on this hand. You can see, foundation. So the primer has a little bit of a scent, but the foundation is very heavily fragrance. It's actually quite strong, so if you don't like fragrance, I don't think you're going to like the scent of that. This is definitely more coverage than I, again, have been wearing lately, so it's kind of taken me a minute or two to adjust to it because I feel very full-faced right now, even though I did minimal makeup. My version of minimal makeup, and I will say though that when you're using a mattifying foundation, the products just go on so so much more full than when you're wearing something more sheer. That's why I look a little bit more chisel, a little bit more done up. But again, this is like my usual makeup that I would wear on a, you know, like a simple glam look. So that's what I have on right now. But something that is kind of throwing me off is that I am dry on my forehead, which is where I told you that if I was gonna get dry, it was gonna be up here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see with these lights, but you see right here, it's getting a little bit cakey and 
it's doing some separation. That's really weird because that is the side with the primer. So as of right now, I'm not seeing a big difference with the primer versus no primer because I'm actually seeing the dryness on that side. Also looking a little bit thick on my chin. I think it's just also because too, I'm not really used to this really full coverage look anymore, but we will see. All right guys, it's 5.23. I've had this foundation on for just over seven hours and I have to head to this event very soon. And I mean very soon. And I've been looking at my skin debating whether or not to keep it on or to just start over. I made my notes as per usual, so I'm just gonna break down my thoughts for you. It's looking a bit thick and cakey on the chin. Like you can see that it's just kind of sitting on top of my face. It's because my oils have started to come through and it's like it needs to be capped back in, which is what I would do if I uh, needed to fix this. Like I would probably take some blotting papers or I would probably mist my face and then go in with my foundation brush and touch that up. And you see, it's just like even that little bit kind of just blended it back into the skin. Same thing with on my forehead. Like, okay, I'm gonna try and give you a really good look at this. I'm a little bit um, greasy over here and I can just like move the product around because it's sitting on top of my skin. Same thing with my forehead. Yeah, I just like pretty much wipe that off. Let's just quickly go over the claims. Was it matte? When I first put it on, it was so matte, like unbelievably matte. I love the way it dried down, but then my oils did start to come through. So what that means to me is that I would have to touch this up throughout the day to make sure that everything stayed in check. Was it full coverage? Absolutely. It kind of blew me away with how full coverage it was, with how little amount of product I had to use. And long wearing, I'm like 50-50 about this question because technically I still have like a full face of makeup, nothing broke down, my bronzer and blush still looks intact. It's just kind of lifted. So I don't know if it's so stable. If you are thinking about trying this product, I would definitely get a sample of it first and see if you can make it work for your skin before you fully invest. I'm sorry I wasn't more clear on my answer with this, but I just wanna try it out again. I'll be sure to update you guys in my description box if there are any changes. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Make sure to come back next week for a brand new video and please leave me a comment and let me know what foundation you wanna see me review next time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.